I proposed to my wife with this song, but ironically, she's not a big fan. Today we're gonna dissect and discuss my second ever recorded song, Fallen. It was recorded in our bedroom, in our old house, which was like 800 square feet. Before we jump in too deep though, my name's Trevor Hunt. I'm an Indiana singer songwriter. Thank you for joining me. You can check me out at Trevor Hunt Music on Instagram and Facebook. You can also go to my website, www.trevorhuntmusic.com. Tons of links there, tons of opportunities for us to connect there as well. I never like to start a video off without asking myself first, why should people care? Why would people wanna watch this? And so I believe this video is for two types of people. One, if you're a fan of my music and you wanna know the story behind this song, then this is a cool video for you to watch. Two, if you're looking to have professional sounding music in a home studio one day, you could learn from some of my mistakes of the second song I ever recorded. I mean, I learned from the School of Hard Knocks, so I can tell you what to do and what definitely not to do with this song. So stick around for the whole video and you'll get to hear a cool story and how to make your own music. And like I said before, it's part of a series, so there was one done before, and you can see, if you compare the song that I did before Fallen, there's a huge jump in quality. And I think that just putting yourself out there, no matter how good your song is, put it out there and just improve every single song, and pretty soon you're gonna have Radio Ready songs out there, and you'll be able to start booking gigs with those. It's crazy to see my confidence grow and change throughout this as well. So without further ado, here's a bit of my favorite piece of the song, Fallen. Didn't expect this to happen so fast Now that it has, girl, and all will last Cause I'm falling Okay, so what's the story behind the song? I think it's important to know the story behind a song before we dive too deep into what went wrong and what went well. So the story behind Fallen is very, very simple. I was dating my wife in college and I fell in love really fast. In fact, some people would say too fast. My wife and I got engaged after about six months of dating. Now we were engaged for 11 months, but I wrote the song, I keep thinking about you, can't get you off my mind. I fall in, fall in love with you because it was like, this makes no sense. I'd been in long-term relationships before, but this one was different, I knew. Now, thankfully, I've been married for five years to my wife. We just had our first child, like literally two weeks ago. He's sleeping in the room, he poops all the time, and it's awesome. <laughs> it works out. I'm not saying that you should just go marry someone after four months of dating, because I bought the ring after four months, but I wrote this song because of how quickly I fell in love with her. Naturally, her parents and family were kind of freaking out, but when I proposed, I went to a, kind of like a dude's home studio. At the time, I had no recording skills whatsoever. I recorded this song for Amy, and it was just me singing and playing guitar. In her brother's house, I had it playing on a CD, and she was like, wait, this is you. I got down on one knee and I proposed. And if you go watch that video, you can actually see the moment that I proposed to my wife on super crappy film footage. I think it was like a flip camera. <laughs> So go check that out if you're interested in it. No big deal if you're not. That's kind of the story behind the song and why I wrote it. So it is important to note at this part, I told you that she's not a huge fan of the song. Now, wait, we'll get to that. When I first wrote it, she loved it. I mean, she's not a horrible person, but actually now she kind of is like, ugh, cringes when she hears it. We're not there yet. Stick around, I'll get there. Let's talk about how I recorded the song. This is for those of you who want to make music of your own, who are thinking, man, I would love to just make my own songs, but I don't know where to start. And I kind of started literally just from scratch. I had no skills. I did not go to school for music production. So if you hear my songs and you think, those are some decent quality songs, maybe you could learn from some of the tips I'm about to give you. I think something super important to know here is this song is by no means perfect. And I was not in a sound treated studio like I am right now. I was in my bedroom at my house, at my 800 square foot house with literally, oh look, with this microphone, that's all I use to record everything, vocals, guitar, bass, well, not bass, because bass plugged in, everything. I had no abilities, I didn't know anything about recording at the time, and so I'm telling you, you've got to start somewhere. They say, gear doesn't matter, it truly does not matter. I wrote this song and it was like, freeing for me to realize that I could get pretty close to radio quality. I just needed to tweak a few things to get 
better every time. My first tip to recording any song and what I did with Fallen, which was the best thing I could ever do, is I had a metronome and I laid the foundation of the song. I think I started with the acoustic guitar on this song, which I would never do again. And I think it took me somewhere like two hours to lay down the acoustic guitar for the song because I did it all in one take, which I messed up so much. I got red light syndrome so much. I wasted so much time just because I would pick a wrong note or I'd pick a wrong string. And that's something that you just get better at. So keep pushing through that. The next thing that I did was probably the drums and I actually used Logic Pro's drummer feature, which is like a live drummer that drums on your track, which I don't always use those now, but I think it sounds, the drums sound pretty solid and real because it's technically a real drummer doing it. I added the bass guitar and piano and organ and a couple other MIDI instruments. I played not on a keyboard, but on my actual Apple keyboard at the time. I played those on that and I kind of went in transposed instruments. What you need to do for any song, Start with the foundation, get the timing down perfect on the first instrument. Whatever is easiest for you to do it on. I would say probably bass and drums would be the best start, but you can do whatever you're best at. If you're really good at piano and you can play solid to a metronome, or maybe you can tweak the notes to make sure that they're solid, get something down that is perfect timing. That bass, that foundation is going to set the tone for the rest of the song. And if you have a crappy foundation, you're gonna have a crappy song. In fact, I would say Fallen's foundation could have been a little stronger. So a bunch of time wasters here. I didn't have a MIDI keyboard, so I played everything on that computer keyboard. I didn't know what I was doing Doing, so everything took twice as long. I bet you this song took me about 20, 25 hours to record, which is a ridiculous amount of time to record a song. Um, and then just shooting the video took a long time too. And I remember dreading working on it. I knew I needed to, I knew that I needed to push through that glass ceiling, but I dreaded doing it because it felt like the hardest work of my life. I cared so much, but I was so scared to put myself out there. Let's talk about what I think went well with this song because there's a few things that I really think were better than Young and Dumb. And like I said, if you haven't seen the last video, Young and Dumb, go check that out now because it's important to know the context of my growth. You need to see every song as I grow so that you can see like, hey, I can grow too. You can do this too. You can grow as well just like I did. Before we jump any farther, I have a thousand subscribers. If you're enjoying what you're watching, would you consider subscribing? Small content creators like me, we thrive off of literally every single subscriber. I don't have a bunch of people that I can afford to lose or gain. I don't pay for subs, I don't pay for followers, I don't pay for, pay for streams on music. I rely on real people like you watching this to support my music. If you happen to love what you're hearing and you want to support the channel, there are ways. You can stream my music on any streaming platform or you can check out my merch at my website in the description below. I've got TH shirts and Indiana home shirts for those of you who are Hoosiers here in my home state, Indiana. Enough of the plug that I just gave you. Let's jump back into what went well with the song. First of all, I learned something new. Every song I'm gonna say that on because every song is so true. When I went to record the acoustic guitar, I learned how difficult that is. And actually something that I strayed away from for a long time because I was afraid to mess it up again, I think I've gotten a lot better at it. I learned a ton and I learn a ton with each song. And I'm telling you right now, your songs will not be perfect but put them out there, force yourself to make one a month, and pretty soon you'll be making songs that people actually wanna to listen to. The next thing that I think went well was I played with a metronome. I kept on beat. The third thing I think went well is my wife said yes to the song. I got her to marry me. I wrote a song and she married me. Fourth thing, I actually hired a guy to mix and master it. That was monumental and you'll see that was a big change. Mixing and mastering your own music, I mean, I do mix mine and I do master it, but then I send it to someone else and say, hey, can you make this better? And literally every single time, every time it has come back and I've been like, oh, this is so much better than my mix because someone else's ears are on, it's fresh. And that's another thing. I learned that working with other people takes your song up to such a different level. Those are the things that I learned and that went well. Let's jump into what didn't go well. And as always, I've got a list because I'm critical of myself much like most musicians are. Okay, what would I change? Let me tell you what I would change. The first thing is first, and I said this in Young and Dumb, I would have put bass guitar and drums first. For me, that's the best way to record a song. If I am doing every instrument myself, which I'm forced to, because I'm not in Nashville, I'm in Indiana, there's no real like, I can't afford to pay a studio $2,000 to record my songs, so I have to play every instrument. So, I would do the bass guitar and drums first. A lot of times, uh, I don't know if people are gonna like this, but I don't even play the real bass. I play the MIDI, I play the keyboard and plug a software bass in. 
just so that I can have the timing 100% perfect. The other thing, I program my own drums now. I actually play them on a drum pad, and then I have my drummer buddy come over and critique the crap out of them. And that's, that's the other thing that I would say I would change. Always, always, always work with as many people that you can get. And a lot of times, if you have mus musical friends, they don't even have to have any, 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 any experience recording music. They just need to have ears in here and say, hey, this might sound cool if you throw this guitar part or drums here. Work with other people. It's changed my music. Okay, the other thing is I wouldn't have worked so hard to make the acoustic timing perfect. In fact, I think I used a little bit of like editing to get some of the picks perfect and I would have just let it flow a little more naturally and I think when you hear that weird effect on the acoustic guitar in the beginning that's because I was trying to make the timing perfect the next thing I would raise the key up probably three steps since then I've taken vocal lessons I've really really sang a lot more shows I think at that time I'd sang like three shows whereas now I've sang over 75 shows so much more experienced singing songs much more comfortable with my range and my key. I can sing a lot higher than I actually did in that song and I think it would sound a lot better if I did. The next thing I would do is speed this song up a little bit and I think the last thing I would change is get over my self doubt. As far as being a creator goes, every video I make, even this one I'm shooting right now, there's a tinge of self doubt but I will say the more I do it, the more I put out there, the less self-doubt I face. And back then, it was crushing. I could barely put anything out without literally second-guessing everything. When a song only got 100 views, I would be like, oh my gosh, it sucks, everybody hates me, I'm the worst musician ever, I have no talent, no and I would just go down this rabbit hole of negativity and really I'd just get out of my head and make music. That's what I would do. Get out of my head and make videos. That's what I want to do if I could go back. So the moment you've all been waiting for, why isn't my wife a big fan of the song? She doesn't like the chorus. <laughs> the more she listens to the chorus, she feels like it kind of just like drags on. And uh, you know what? I appreciate her honest opinion. I, I never want someone to tell me the like untruth about my songs. If you don't like something about my songs, let me know. You're not gonna hurt me. Well, you might hurt me, I don't know. But it helps me grow. When someone says, ah, this is kinda slow, kinda boring, then you can grow off that. Sometimes the hate comments we get are actually the best feedback we can ever have. Like these videos, if there's something you don't like about it, let me know, maybe I can make the next one a little bit better and pretty soon I'll be making content that people want to watch and enjoy. In conclusion, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, ring the bell, like, comment, do all those things. You really are the bread and butter, the life to my YouTube channel. I can't do this without people watching like you. Thank you so much if you made it here. God bless, and as always, take it easy.